नमस्कार वेलकम वंस अगेन टू एपिसोड एट ऑफ माई लॉकडाउन कुकिंग सबसे पहले तो आप सबको ईद मुबारक बिकॉज टमोरो अकॉर्डिंग टू इंडिया टाइम ईद इज टमोरो बट द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ईद हैपन्स टू बी टूडे सो ईद मुबारक टू ऑल माई फ्रेंड्स ग्लोबली एंड आई वॉज जस्ट वॉन्टिंग की आई डोंट नो वॉट आई शुड कुक टूडे Because whenever I'm cooking, there's always a random thought that comes to my mind. And for a very long time, I have been craving to have a meal. You know, somehow or the other, uh, I would go to a lot of my Muslim friends' houses, and halim was something which I would love. The korma, the halim, an early morning breakfast from Nehari would be fantastic with kamiri roti. So I thought, why don't I make a traditional dal gosht today? of all the ingredients that are available in my pantry so we're going to experiment an innovative style of dal gosht because i do not follow the traditional recipes i use that as a base to cook but uh, somehow i work around on some permutations and combinations and i try and create a dish with that uh, i am going to have for lunch uh, i will be making a lachha paratha uh, my lachha paratha is also slightly different where i have the kalanji that goes into it ajwain that goes into it and it is uh, the the dough is a mixture of maida and atta i use 65% maida atta and 35% maida and it is kneaded in milk with a little bit of sugar and then i left i leave it to stay till this time i you know uh, then my lachha paratha comes in so this is my plan and i think it'd be a good idea for me to share this recipe with all of you uh, and uh, my kitchen is uh, almost ready so without any further ado apna kaam kitchen mein karte hain shuru so i will now get down to start cooking my kitchen our episode 8 of lockdown time pass experiment okay see you in my kitchen right away okay so we are in our kitchen now as i said earlier that we are going to make some innovative dal gosht and my meza is ready what i am doing is i've got some ginger paste onions i have already chopped this is chana dal which i have already soaked and kept it uh, for about 1 hour 1 and a half hours i have taken my mutton and i've half boiled the mutton because i have to cook the rest of the mutton with the dal normally the tradition is that once the masala and the mutton is ready the dal goes into it and then it's cooked on slow fire and for a couple of hours till this time you know it mingles very well but that's a traditional way of doing it and it's always wood fire that no normally used however my stock is here mustard oil is here whole red chilies uh onion as i mentioned earlier tomatoes ginger garlic ginger paste i have already said is gone and i will put in whole cloves of garlic in my dal and cook it slowly what i have done is i have made a ground home masala which has mace nutmeg cloves whole pepper large cardamom bay leaves and salt so i have mixed everything except the salt and i have made a masala my homemade garam masala in this i also have dried turmeric which i have made into a paste and this is fresh organic turmeric these are small things that go into making the dal gosht aasan hai simple hai passion hai junoon hai aur zaike ke liye jigyasa that's what it is there is a quest to learn to cook 
to appreciate the subtle flavors and get down to cooking whatever is available. So all these things were available in my kitchen during lockdown. Even today, uh, not all the ingredients are available. They are still a little scarce to get. However, we will still manage something out of the whatever we have. So we should start cooking now. Okay, the flame is on and my mustard oil. I either use desi ghee or mustard oil, but I, to give that real rusticity, I will be using mustard oil and making the masala and the mutton and that. And once my dal is ready, I will be putting a tarka of uh, desi ghee on top. So my mustard oil goes in. My oil is almost heating up. So my bay leaves will go into Now that my oil is heated up, I have added the onions to it and I have messed with it. Four pepper goes into it. My cloves and my cardamom also is going into it now. Also going into this is whole chilies. I'm cutting into two like this. Now the next stage is my onions are light brown. They've uh, not become golden. I'll wait for it to be a little golden brown. I will be adding salt to this. Onions have almost become uh, brownish, so my ginger paste goes in. Just a little bit, which has been finely done up. And my mutton goes in. Okay, now since the mutton is being cooked, what we are doing is uh, I'll wait for the mutton to become slightly crispy on top. So my masala is almost ready. I am going to take some tomato puree. This is freshly fresh homemade puree, and I'm going to take some and add some to this. Next on the agenda is turmeric. I always put turmeric midway. And I will now be adding my homemade garam masala. My mutton base is ready. See how beautiful the colors look. I've added two whole garlic bulbs in this and I've put it in this. And I'll get it cooked for another. So my mutton masala is almost ready. Oh, just see the color. This is not fabulous. While this is being done, my dal will go into this. I am adding dal to this. So my dal has been added. So 
while I'm stirring this a little, just a little, then comes my final trick. My stock will go into this. The button stock goes into this. Okay, now uh, my mutton is getting ready, the dal is getting ready. I will put this gas on simmer and cover it and let it cook. Let it cook for about half an hour, 35 minutes, 40 minutes and uh, by that time my dal should get ready. So, uh, half an hour is almost over. So, let us see what the situation is. Oh, yes. Look at this. We we'll let this cook for another five minutes because the dal has to mix well with the soup. It's on the verge of almost mixing. And it is coming out fabulously, fantastically, deliciously, succulently, wonderful. Lodi, our dish is ready. I will now just put this off and get down to making my parathas. So the moment our parathas are ready, our lunch is ready. Watch out for another episode of Lockdown Cooking, which will be episode 9. Till then, bon appetit, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay wealthy. God bless you all. Bye.